Hi everybody, here's Christian. Teamwork cast. Teamwork cast. Shepherd. Thank Cthulhu. We're done. No more switch. Switch mm. is dead. It's long live the switch. Long live the switch. Yes. Mine's on fire. Wouldn't it be great <laughs> if like I started a meme with being the first person whose switch caught on fire because the fan wasn't working? <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> I think it won't be as spectacular if you if this no. if the you know I mean, you, can... you know there are people out there that like wish they had that one defective Switch console so they could go on social media and be like look Nintendo your console's failing Nintendo sucks and, and, and then and then think about the uh, the lawsuit as it exploded in your hand and has left you scarred and yeah you could be like that uh, one McDonald's lady with a I already I already have a facial scar I don't really need another one. Ooh, we have a scar. <laughs> it's uh, actually so it's kind of cool. It's almost kind of like an evil villain scar. Is it maybe does it look like a like a lightning bolt on your forehead? It's a vertical line directly mm. under my left eye. It's hmm. almost like a Dr. Evil scar except it does not go above the eye. It's just okay. purely on my cheek. Well, you know, we can iris. fix that and give you one above the eye too. Yeah. Just, just cut it deeper. Continuity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is our Monster Hunter uh, Generations Let's Play playthrough, play play play, and we are uh, we are doing another quest. Yep, we're gonna do where the wild mains are. We're gonna hunt a uh, hyper ludroth. Oh, it's a hyper ludroth. Yep. Is it, is it a uh, like a regular quest from the from the quest line? Yep. Holy crap! It's from the fluffy lady. I love it. Royal Ludras has such lovely fluffy necks, and I hear that recently one with an exceptionally fluffy one is up and about. I wonder how hot soft it is. Please, you must help me find out. Hyper Ludras. Also, the fluffy lady does sound a little bit like like um, Umbridge a little bit. I'm a fan. I think of Umbridge, <laughs> of Ludros, but okay. I mean, I could be a fan of Umbridge too. So yeah, I think uh, the now now comes like the awkward silence after the, the, after the... refractory period. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's okay. Uh, but you guys made me very excited about the Switch. Um, yeah. And Not... I wish I had more money because uh, maybe invest. Well, in... again, I, I have to say that there's definitely no immediate need to be an early adopter. Yeah. You know, I don't get the sense that this is going to be like a, a Wii situation where there's going to be stock problems for a very long time. You know, immediately after release until the early adopters are all satisfied, there's going to be some time. But considering yeah. how like the must-have title is already available on another console, I mean that yeah. was the, the case with a uh, with a Wii U as well. Wasn't yeah, I mean the the reason the Wii got crazy is because of Wii Sports, yeah. which yeah. was only playable on that and was a packing title. So, you know, it was very easy to get see why there was demand and it's something yeah, but, that but, I but the we you know remember how we came out with the Twilight Princess but it was also on GameCube yeah but yeah. that wasn't that wasn't what was selling consoles yeah it was it was the Wii Sports and it's still yeah. that, that's my main criticism I still can't figure out why they don't just bundle that stuff in I mean I'm not saying it's going to be the same runaway success but like you're getting to the point where there are the people now that are looking back on Wii Sports with nostalgia and you yeah, want to yeah. try and recapture that, yeah, um, yeah. get those sales in. And and with as sensitive as the gyro is on this, it would be the perfect time to recapture. Oh, the gyro is so good. I mean, it's, puzzles, I, I hate the puzzles, the, the puzzles that involve that, it, but it is good. But yeah, like the there's one in particular that I hate that deals with the hammer. Those yep. ones for me are the worst. Not good. Um. Not the good. the Not labyrinth famous. ones are, are aren't bad. You want to know uh, the sneaky shepherd thing that I do for the labyrinth ones? You turn it upside down. Okay, so I guess it's not a sneaky shepherd thing because everyone's <laughs> doing it. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> lots of people were doing it. <laughs> it's like fuck you, like Nintendo. I'm on to you, man. Are you with your putty mouth again? <sighs> Sorry, it's it's the fan and Zelda. Yeah, it's it's you can you're you're audibly excited today. Very un uncharacteristic. So. Yes, 
Yes, I yes. I also drank like half a pot of espresso because I took espresso coffee and I put it into a yeah. coffee machine and I drank half a pot. And also, and also oh, the, wow. the poison is, is running through your veins right now. The, the yeah, it's, poison. No, I, I feel uh, back to 100%. The nausea is completely gone. Okay. The, the mild amount of nausea I felt. It's more oh. disappointment than anything else. I really, I really wish it affected me worse. Ooh. Oh, oh really? Ooh. I was like in the middle of taking the max potion too. Oof. Uh, oh well. Happens to the best of us. I I feel like I should have had espresso this morning because I was up until like three a.m. playing Zelda, <laughs> and woke up at like eight. Yeah, I unfortunately so... had to work Saturday, and that that was a little difficult. So, Tulu, what are you going to do afterwards? After we, we're done here uh, today? After we're done here, we're going to go visit my friends who just had a baby. Oh. Um, and you're going to be thinking fun. about Zelda the entire time. You, he would play oh, Zelda. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to play Zelda on the drive down. Yeah, of course. And on the drive back. God, you uh, don't get nauseous from stuff like that? No. My, my wife. So, my wife does get car sit, sick, so anytime we're so going to the place, trade she drives. Oh. Yeah. That's great. She drives. I get to play games. <laughs> or read books. So you're probably going to play it on the travel up to PAX. Uh, I, I will probably be playing it on the, from your place to PAX. Yeah, yes. that's what I mean. Yeah, not, yeah. not while you are actually driving. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be driving from Baltimore to Connecticut and playing Zelda this the This background scenery time. when I'm riding this horse is so realistic. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Cthulhu launches himself through the windshield. <laughs> Like part part of me part of me is like, man, I kind of wish I did the plane now. But then I was like, but if I'd done the plane, I would have been sitting up there in an airport for so many hours just playing Zelda and not doing anything. But like, it eh, would be I'll good to see a real, like real life usage test. I mean, they they claimed that you could play it on like an airplane. I'd uh, like to see how long, comfortable it is. If there was no turbulence, I could see it happen. If you get any amount of oh, turbulence, that thing's falling over. That stand yeah. is yeah, the stand <laughs> is toast. <laughs> You're not, you're not, you're not keeping that the switch on that stand with like heavy turbulence at all. There's just no way. Um, speaking of which, by the way, recently uh, because I'm doing some drone racing stuff, so recently I saw a really cool video where the four guys got into a car. Uh, one of them, uh, two of them in the, sitting in the front, had like the FPV goggles, the the virtual reality goggles where you can see uh, the, what, the, what the drone is seeing. And then one of them was flying a drone behind the car while the other was driving the car with the goggles. Okay. Like literally, literally, you're like, are they, they're playing the rigger from Shadowrun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, 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 it's stupid, but it's kind of amazing that it's possible with, with like off-the-shelf technology these days. So you can like fly a little camera behind your car and drive your car from third-person view, like in GTA. Well, you get the right, you get the right drone, and the drone would actually follow you. Yeah, like if you had like a. As long as you're not going super fast, there's some that are now do like up to track you up to like 35 miles per hour. Yeah, if if you get like a like a what's what's it called the. Uh, yeah, the DJI Phantom. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 kind of super silly that it's possible. Of course, they did it in a you know in controlled environment. I wouldn't do that on the streets. Oh yeah. Uh, that's that's a I'm sure recipe that's, for that's a for huge recipe disaster. For Making the news. Yeah. Darwin Awards right there, but um, but yeah, it's kind of amazing that you can do can do this, and you know this kind of out of body experience is kind of amazing. Where recently I was like sitting in a park and, and flying around with a drone, and then some people approached me and talked to me. Yeah, and it was the weirdest experience ever because I'm at two places at the same time. Guys, yeah. you get the, you get the tail. Uh, no, I forgot. Oh, uh, uh, not uh, that it, not that it really matters, but yeah, we should, we should probably get the tail. So yeah. Hey, it's high rank blue drop parts. You never know. Yeah, how was how was that being the rigger, Christian, huh? as you as you were flying and yet hearing something in other it's, places? Is there a like, is there a like sound coming out of the drone? Like, can you no, hear it? No, like, no. Well, you could you could set it up so we can hear the drone, but I, I think that would all you'd really... hear would be wind and yeah. rotors. Yeah, but that might be that might that might be fun. Some people have it on so they can see how how strong the motors are working, uh, but I don't. Have it. Yeah, I, I I would put like a directional mic on it. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, it's 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 really weird, and I love it. Like I go in, into the like today, I was in a, in a park again and and flew a little bit with the drone. It's kind of like amazing that you can just, you know, you pop the the glasses on and you are immediately in the sky and flying around. It's it's really great. It's fun. So too expensive for my tastes. Well, it's it's, it's three hundred bucks. That's how much you paid for the for a switch. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's how much you paid initially. How much have you paid for replacement parts? Uh, details. <laughs> <laughs> more than more, probably more than another three hundred bucks. Uh, you had to pay for Zelda, uh, which was forty bucks, fifty bucks. <laughs> Not another three hundred bucks. No, it wasn't another three hundred bucks. But I do have two drones now, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a it's not a cheap it's not a cheap. Uh, uh, hobby and it's of course once you get it and once you have the investment then you kind of want to continue practicing because it's kind of um, it requires a lot of practice to to get good at, at flying around yeah like. and every mistake costs you 40 bucks not too too bad like especially these days like today today I made a crash and I broke nothing it was kind of amazing <laughs> is the is the crash just kind of like an accepted part of being yeah. a drone owner. Like yeah, yeah, every yeah, time absolutely. It's like... Yeah. It's it's like dying in Dark Souls. It just happens. Yeah. And so that's why it's it, a good idea when you make a you build a racing drone, it's a good idea to actually build it yourself so you know how it assembles. So you know which part can be replaced. Like buying a drone off the shelf that you cannot actually unscrew and replace components with. Uh it's 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 not good. It's not, not something you should do. Yeah, a little insight in my drone, in my little drone universe. So we kind of bl blasted that Ludroth right there. We blasted yep. him. That's kind of amazing. We're we're getting we're getting good at this game. Because we're awesome. We are. And you can get to find out how our awesomeness continues in the future. Maybe there's going to be a huge, uh, I don't know, huge, uh, uh, huge awakening coming up. See, and let's see about that. See you next time around, guys. And as always, good luck and good hunt. Boop. 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 Beep. Beep. Goodbye, meow. Turn your small barrel bomb into a large barrel bomb. Squatty putty.